guys and welcome back to another Land to Skate video. Today we'll be covering the T-Stop. T-Stops are a classy looking level up from a snowplow and a great skill to have in your repertoire for programs. For simplicity, I'll be demonstrating this with my right foot in front and left behind, but it's recommended that you learn both sides. Your posture, as always, will be key in maintaining your balance and control of this skill. Head to the wall or a quiet space of ice and let's practice the T-stop position. The right foot will begin in front, pointing forwards. The left is going to sit behind, almost like a third position in ballet, except the front foot faces forward and not to the side. And so, we get the T position for which this stop is named after. Now for the rest of the body. The shoulders and hips should be square, as always, and facing forward like the right foot. If needed, you can open out that left hip slightly to keep your left foot in the T position. What helped me the most when I was learning this stop is learning to bend my knees. The knee bend allows you more control and actually improves your turnout in the hips. We'll be using the left outside edge for this stop, not the inside or the flat. So don't let the ankle pronate or drop onto the inside edge behind you. Lift that inside arch and try and press into the outside of the blade. Imagine that you have to scratch your calf with the inside of the left blade. Yeah, dangerous I know, but it usually helps me get the right posture. I've broken this skill down into some progressions here to help you. To begin with, I recommend trying to hold a one foot glide in a straight line with your left leg behind you and the back hip open or turned out slightly. Then. Repeat the same thing, but bring that left instep to rest against the back of the right ankle. It should look like a close attitude position. Ensure the back blade is perpendicular to the front blade. Get enough speed to be able to hold the glide for a while. The next step is to gently lower the back blade during your one foot glide so that the left outside edge almost hovers over the ice. When you're ready, you can try lowering the blade into the ice this time. The most important thing is to do this very slowly and very gently to avoid stacking it. See if you can take a delicate shaving off the top of the ice. Keep the majority of your weight on that right foot. When you get comfortable, try and pick up some speed on that one foot glide and repeat. Once this feels good, we can add a bit of weight shift. So. Gently rock the weight from the balls of the right foot towards the right heel and then gradually onto that left outside edge. The more you shift, the more powerful and abrupt the stop can be. The only catch is you require more control and good posture to complete the stop. I actually try to think of this stop kind of like similar to shaving your legs. TMI, I know, but bear with me, you'll never forget this analogy. If you suddenly dug that razor blade into your leg, you wouldn't be able to continue the motion of shaving the rest of the leg. Um, and you'd also probably need to go to ED. But anyway, the point of it is that we're aiming to gently shave the ice or the leg hairs, if you will, in a smooth, shallow glide. It's good to try and learn the snowplow and hockey stops before this skill because they teach you about weight transfer and controlling stopping. When I first learned the T-stop, that T position was super uncomfortable for me. So what really helped was practicing it. Whether it was at the wall or on the ice, getting into that T position helped me get comfortable and used to the way my body needed to move during the stop. Okay guys, that's it for this video. I hope you found something helpful in it. And when this all blows over and the rinks actually open again, I hope you can give some of these a try Please feel free to let me know what you would like to see next. Take care guys and I'll see you next video.